President Trump's executive order banning immigrants from seven countries from entering the U.S. is on hold. A federal judge in Seattle made the ruling after challenges by Minnesota and Washington. Wu Jiang has the latest. Big stuff. A federal judge in Seattle has granted a nationwide temporary restraining order on President Trump's executive order to temporarily ban citizens from seven Muslim majority countries from entering the U.S. It is not the loudest voice that prevails in a courtroom, it's the Constitution. U.S. District Judge James Robart's ruling means people from the countries on the list can enter the U.S. with the proper paperwork. The White House responded, saying the Department of Justice will file an emergency stay of the order. It added it believes the order is lawful and that the president has the constitutional authority and responsibility to protect the American people. Earlier, the administration sanctioned 25 individuals and entities that provide support to Iran's ballistic missile program. They're not behaving. The country's foreign minister responded with a video on Twitter. We will never repeat, never, never use them against anybody unless in self-defense. And in Iran, people chanted, death to America. Here on the home front, President Trump started to unravel banking rules that took effect after the 2008 U.S. economic downturn. My fellow Americans, he also this launched his first video address on Facebook Live. Mr. Trump is spending the weekend working at his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. He has calls scheduled with the leaders of Italy, New Zealand, and Ukraine, and the NATO Secretary General. Weijia Jiang, CBS News, the White House. The Department of Justice said it looks forward to reviewing yesterday's federal court written order on immigration and will determine the next steps.